For me, the brain holds the key to all of the fundamental mysteries of the human mind. So how do we remember our past in such exquisite detail? How do we plan and imagine and anticipate events that have not even happened? How do we instinctively know how other people are feeling without even asking them? And I think studying the brain is a fascinating way to unlock these secrets of the human mind. As a child, I was always interested in memory because I found that I could remember things that a lot of my friends couldn't. On the other side, I watched my grandmother um, succumb to Alzheimer's disease. And so it propelled me to start thinking about how memory is so fragile and what we can actually do in terms of studying it and hopefully treating it. You feeling all right? Yeah, yeah fine. Okay. My work on dementia highlights how different structures in the brain need to be functional to allow us to engage in these incredibly complex activities like memory and imagination. Thanks for coming in That's today. Okay. Do you want to come with me? Yeah, sure. So one of the things that we do with patients is we ask them to reminisce on events from their past and then we ask them to simulate or to imagine possible events that could occur in the future. And we compare the details that they provide across the past and future context to see how these functions are related. They also undergo um, structural MRI, which is a scan of their brain. And from that, we use software to map their performance on the tasks with the intensity or integrity of the grey matter in the brain. I'm currently in the process of building my own independent research team. And having been on maternity leave last year, the L'Oreal Fellowship is really vital to helping me build my team and also gain more exposure at the international level. And also it will provide me with funds to attend one of the biggest memory conferences which will take place next year in Europe. I'm looking for atrophy in like the parietal region. Dementia is one of the most pressing problems facing society today. Over 300,000 individuals in Australia are living with dementia and this figure is set to rise exponentially over the coming decades. One of my most important findings to date has been to demonstrate that individuals with dementia are not able to imagine their future. Ultimately, I hope that my work will contribute to the refinement of the differential diagnosis of dementia syndromes, but also more importantly, helping to structure and enhance the daily life of individuals living with dementia.